Hi friends, today I discuss range of hearing. Range of hearing. The audible range of hearing for human beings is in between 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. So this is the audible range. So it is the audible range for human being. For human being. For human being. Below 20 hertz. Below 20 hertz. It is infrasound. Infra sound and and frequency higher than 20 hertz frequency higher than 20 hertz called ultrasonic sound ultra sonic sound ultrasonic sound so in this way ultrasonic sound ultrasonic sound now some animals like as rhinosaurs communicate using infrasound of frequency as low as 5 hertz or you can see before earthquake, before earthquake, before earthquake men socks, earthquake generate low frequency infrasound, low frequency infrasound which possibly alert the animals. And the frequency range above the ultras, above the 20 hertz is called ultrasonic sound. And ultrasonic sound is produced by dolphins. It's produced by dolphins, dolphins, bats, and some more animals like porpoise, porpoises. porpoises. So these. Uh, ultrasonic sound is produced by dolphins, bats and porpoises. So reds also play games by producing ultrasound. Now discuss application of ultrasound. Application of ultrasound. The application of ultrasound is extensively used in industries in industries and medical applications medical purpose or medical applications because ultrasounds are high frequency waves ultrasounds are high frequency frequency waves so first the first application for used to clean used to clean parts located in hard to reach place located in hard to reach places or odd saved or odd saved for example spiral tube like it the this in this process object to be cleaned are placed in a cleaning solution in a cleaning solution in a cleaning in an object are to be cleaned are placed in a cleaning solution 
and ultrasonic waves are sent into the solution due to the high frequency the particle of dust grease and dirt get detached and drop out so the object thus get thoroughly cleaned so the first application of ultrasound age ultrasonic or ultrasound age used to clean parts located in hard to reach place or odd shaped now the second application age to detect to detect cracks and flaws cracks and flaws in metal blocks metal blocks generally metallic components are generally used in construction of big structures like building bridges machines and also for scientific components the cracks are invisible from outside reduces the strength of structure so ultrasonic waves are allowed to pass through the metal block and detectors are used to detect the transmitting waves if there is a, even a small defect the ultrasound gets reflected back indicating the presence of flaw or defect now you can say if this is a metallic plate if this is a metallic plate if this is a metallic plate and in this portion a metallic flange or any flaw when you pass ultrasonic wave where there is no flaws the ultrasonic wave pass straight line but in to flaws it's reflected back it reflected back and gives the indication of and gives the indication of metallic flaws or detect flaw now ultrasonic waves are made to reflect from various part of the heart so basically the third application in echocardiology in echocardiology ultrasound is also used ultrasound scanner is an instrument which use ultrasonic waves for getting image of internal organs so for in medical purpose for many medical purpose so this is the many type of application of ultrasound waves now discuss in next page now discuss on sonar sonar stands for sound navigation and ranging sound navigation and ranging and sonar is used to measure to measure to measure the distance distance direction and speed of underwater objects speed of underwater objects now how does the sonar work sonar basically consists transmitter and detector which is installed in a boat or ship how sonar works we discuss if a boat if a ship or boat have a ship in the bottom in the surf, in the bottom surface of ship in the bottom surface of ship 
these are two the one edge the one edge transmitter the other edge detector the other edge detector so in the underwater if any object is placed then transmitter sends us sends ultrasonic sound or wave and if this detect a object then reflecting back and received by detector and the detector converts the ultrasonic waves into electronic signal this converts detector converts ultrasound waves in into electronic signal into electronic signal which are appropriately interpreted the distance of the object and the distance of the object that reflected the sound wave can be calculated by the knowing the speed of sound in water and the time interval between transmission and reception of ultra sound let's the time is small t and the speed of sound through sea water is v then the total distance traveled which is 2d equal to v into t so i also find the distance between object and object this method is called eco ranging eco ranging eco range so also the sonar technique is used to locate underwater hills valleys submarine icebergs sunken ships so more so more applications for sonar techniques so i hope you understand what is sonar and how what is the application of sonar and ultrasonic waves so please download the scholar learning app and if you already download this then enjoy learning thanks to watching this video